curious minds, welcome to Kids Church, where the adventure of faith begins. I'm Polly the Peppy Prehistoric Pelican, and... I'm Teacher Sarah, ready to dive into the wonders of Jesus with all of you! Hey, Teacher Sarah, did you hear? Jesus taught us to be kind and compassionate to one another. Indeed, Polly, his teachings guide us to be the best versions of ourselves. Let's head over to worship and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hooray! Sometimes it's hard to wait for all the things that I want. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long to get the things I want. What I think I need, but I know you know what's best for me. I'm gonna live what I believe. I'm gonna wait, cause I know you're still working. I'm gonna have patience, cause it'll be worth it. I'm gonna have faith, I know you have a purpose. That you're working it out I'm gonna hold up Slow down I'm gonna trust That you're working it out Welcome to Story Lab. This week we're talking about patience while we take a look at the story of someone who found a sweet end to a long... Wait. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about patience. Which is waiting until later for what you want now. Like dessert. Mmm, dessert. dessert. We're having a cookout this weekend and mom asked me to be in charge of dessert. Oh, well that's easy. Ice cream. Except it melts so fast outside. I present to you ice cream soup. Okay, not ice cream. What about those those sandwich cookies in the shape of an O and O? Mm, too boring. Hmm, way to crumble up my idea. I'm thinking of something more fun. You, you know, something interactive. Ah, okay, I'm with you now. Let's make it. Okay, what is the it we are making? Salt water taffy. Whoa, like the kind you pull? Yeah. That is seriously old school. We get to pull the taffy by hand instead of machine. Bring it on, let's pull. Hold on, we gotta make it. Oh. First, we add all of our ingredients to a large pot. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. One cup of light corn syrup. 
three tablespoons of milk, three quarters of a cup of water, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of salt, about three or four drops of food coloring. Okay, ready to stir it up? Oh, uh, wait, we need to heat it up first. Oh. You'll need a grown-up to help you heat up the mixture to boiling. Okay, now I stir. It looks so cool. Just, just keep on stirring. Yes. You wanna get it to that precise middle ground of, of the mixture and the heating. Uh huh. Cause that's what makes that nice stretchy taffy. Is it boiling yet? Um, I kinda see a couple bubbles. Uh, yes? Stop, stop stirring, stop oh. stirring. Uh, no. What? Once the mixture starts to boil, you have to stop stirring or the sugar will crystallize. And then no smooth, chewy taffy. Now, we have to wait until the temperature reaches at least 250 degrees. Wait? How long is this gonna take? It's almost getting there. Oh, oh, it's almost oh, at 250. Oh, oh. What is it at? Almost 245. Okay, okay, okay. 246. Uh, seven. Uh, nine. What? Uh, 250. Whoa, okay, what do we do? What do we do? Take this out. Okay, okay, okay. Turn it off. Turn it off. All right, all right. Now what? Now what? Now we put half on my pan and half on your pan. Okay, okay. Whoa. See that? Yeah. Mm. Okay, and now we get to pull the taffy. Nope, we've got to wait for it to cool. You're kidding. All this waiting is going to make me melt. Uh -huh. Is it time yet? Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Butter your hands first or you're gonna have taffy hands for days. Like that? Yeah. Ugh. Just rub it on your hands. Ugh. This feels so gross. Yeah, but you need it. Okay, now what? Now, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Just peels right off. Look at that! Huh. Whoa! <laughs> this is like a workout. It almost looks like a rope. <laughs> you're in my way. No, 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 you're in my way. No, 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 See, let me get right, right here. Wait, no, let me, I, I kinda oh, wanna oh, go over here over now. there. I, 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 need, I need a little bit more room. Hey, hey, okay, you, you, yeah, hold, hold this, okay. yeah, right here. Wait, wait, pull. No. Are you pulling? Yeah, Are you sure? yeah, I am. I'm as hard as I you, can. Oh, got the butter okay, all over gotta, my hands. Pull, pull from the core. I'm slipping off. Hold on. All right, all right. We've been pulling these for a little bit. Is it done yet? Nope. We have to wait for it to turn light and fluffy. In order for taffy to become light and chewy, it must be aerated. Air bubbles are incorporated in the taffy through pulling it for 15 to 60 minutes. An hour? Uh, yes, not an hour, probably like 15 minutes or probably longer. Oh, I may not survive this wait. I'll have a beard by then. Speaking of waiting, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the book of Luke, one of the four gospels that tell the story of Jesus. But long before Luke, in the very beginning, God created an amazing, wonderful world, including us. Then, people turned away from God, and the world was broken. But God had a plan to restore us. God chose one man, Abraham and promised to bless the whole world through his family. 
over and over, this family, the Israelites, turned away from God. At last, they were attacked. Some were scattered and others were taken captive. But God never turned away from the Israelites. God promised, through prophets, to send a rescuer. For hundreds of years, the people waited and waited and waited some more. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. God's people, the Israelites, were waiting through hundreds of years of rule by foreign nations. At last, the Romans took over. Though the Jewish people were free to worship God, they had to pay heavy taxes to Rome. They no longer had their own land and life was very difficult. And to top it off, there was no recorded word from God in all that time. Still, many of the people waited and hoped for God's rescuer. One of these people was a man named Simeon, who showed love for God and for others in everything he did. May the Lord bless you. As Simeon prayed one day, God's spirit spoke to him and told him, you will not die before you see the Lord's Messiah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. How amazing is that? After all those years of waiting, God spoke and promised Simeon that he would see God's rescuer before he died. Now, we don't know how old Simeon was when he received this promise, but we do know it did not happen right away. Simeon waited. When will this happen, Lord? And waited. Today, Lord? And waited. Maybe soon, Lord? And waited. Through all this time, Simeon appears to have waited patiently and with joy, trusting God's promise. Finally, one day. What about today, Lord? God's spirit prompted Simeon to go to the temple courtyard. Yes, Lord, right away. Simeon made his way as quickly as he could to the temple. And while he was there, someone showed up. Someone that you probably know about. Simeon saw Jesus. Now at this time, baby Jesus was only eight days old and Mary and Joseph had brought him to the temple so they could dedicate him to God. Please, may I hold your son? Praise God. I've waited for this day many years. We know our son is special. Lord, you are the king over all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. It will be the glory of your people, Israel. Simeon declared that Jesus is God's Messiah, that Jesus had come to rescue not only Jewish people, but everyone, everywhere throughout time. But Simeon knew that Jesus and his parents would face many difficult things. The Lord bless you. This child is going to cause many people in Israel to fall and to rise. God has sent him. Many people would love and follow Jesus, and many would not. In the end, Jesus would give up his life. But even then, God's plan wasn't finished because Jesus would be raised back to life. Now, Simeon didn't know exactly how the story would unfold, but he did know that every minute had been worth the wait. The end. So Simeon had to wait years, and so God's people had to wait hundreds of years. Whew. That's intense. I mean, I have a hard time waiting hundreds of seconds while the popcorn pops. In God's eyes, time is different. God made time. But God knows that waiting is hard for us and will be with us while we wait. So what's our part in the story? Whether you're waiting hours for ice cream or years until you're old enough for your own phone, God is with you while you wait. While you wait for the next book in the series to come out. While you wait for your broken leg to heal. Even while you wait for your mom to finally get off her Zoom call. And waiting time doesn't have to be wasted time. That's right. When you rely on God to help you wait well, God can actually grow you through the waiting. And God's Spirit can give you patience, peace, and joy while you wait. In fact, waiting is an amazing opportunity. When you stay close to God, you can use your waiting time to show the world what God is like. 
You can take the time to wait well by loving God and loving others. And by having a good attitude instead of grumbling. God has promised that no matter how long we have to wait, everything will be made right in the end for those who follow Jesus. So you can wait with hope. Even if it's just waiting for the popcorn to finally pop. Mmm, popcorn. Whew, now I'm hungry. See you next time. So, here's the thing. God is with you while you wait. Even if you get very hungry while you wait. Now, is it done? Except for the final step. <sighs> Take these, and you twist them. And then you snip. <sighs> Worth the wait? We'll see. Oh, yeah. But now, I can't wait for more. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See, See you next, next time. Well, this is really good. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Good, so much good. It's like, a, it's like a flavorful rope in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Mm. Teacher Sarah, wasn't that message about Jesus' love for us just as sweet as honey? It sure was, Polly. Jesus loves us so much. He came to be our savior. Absolutely. Now we can truly be his friend forever. Amen to that. Hey, Polly, can you refresh our memories with this month's big word? You got it. Here it is. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27 dot dot 14. Once again. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, dot, dot, 14. Thank you, Polly. Now let's quack up with Mr. Phil and Reginald. Hey, hey Mr. Mr. Phil. Phil. Okay, let's just have a little bit more soup, okay? And then you guys will feel better. What's that, Reginald? Did I take out the peas and carrots? Yes, I took out the peas and carrots, okay? And the potatoes? And the broccoli? Okay, Reginald, if I take out all the vegetables, it's not vegetable soup anymore. It's just water then. And Oh, hey, boys and girls. How are you? It's Mr. Phil here. Oh, I was just feeding uh, Reginald and Green Gorilla some, some soup here. You know, I'm a lot better this week. Last week, I was kind of sick. and um, But unfortunately, Reginald and Green Gorilla... They caught my cold, and so now they're a little bit sick, and I'm trying to take care of them with some vegetable soup, but apparently Reginald doesn't like vegetables. But um, anyway, we'll get back to that afterwards, after we're done with the boys and girls. And yeah, Spider-Man's here too, and he's not sick yet, but he doesn't want to get sick, so he's wearing a mask. So, hey, how could you be wearing a mask, Spider-Man, when I thought you already have a mask as part of your costume? Hey man, it's not a costume, all right? It's an outfit, okay? And even though my outfit can block like bullets and radiation and all kinds of other chemicals, it can't block the common cold, man. And I don't want to get sick. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. You don't want to get sick and the common cold can take the best of us down sometimes, right? So um, yeah, all right, well, you go ahead and wear your mask. It's better to be safe than sorry. You can wear a mask on the mask, okay? Even better. All right, but yeah, we as you can see, boys and girls, we've got some medicine here we've been using. We have an inhaler for our cough and some nose spray for our stuffy noses and some NyQuil to help us kind of sleep at night. But yeah, you know, when you have a cold, sometimes you just have to stay home and rest. But you know what? God is always with us. He's always with us. And the presence of God is always just health for our soul, okay? It's medicine for our soul. But hey, before we do our song, um, the babies, they're kind of sniffling, so we better like blow their noses first. So, hey, um, Green Gorilla, can we blow your nose first, all right? So let's go ahead and blow your nose. Go ahead. <coughs> okay, good. Good job, Green Gorilla, good job. Very good, okay. And Reginald, uh, I'm gonna use a different tissue because we don't want to mess up your germs and stuff. Well, let's, let's blow your nose, okay? All right, here we go. <laughs> Did a truck just drive by outside? Did you guys hear something? Reginald, was that? Okay, I, I must be hearing things. Okay, Reginald, let's blow your nose again one last time. Okay, here we go, go.
Reginald, that's the loudest nose blow I've ever heard. You sound like a like a ship or a, a semi truck driving by. Okay, well, wow, your your little nose there can make a loud big noise. That's for sure. Well, wow. Okay. Anyway, well, how about if we do our song today? Okay, it's called Presence of God. One second. Let me get my guitar here. Okay, here we go. The presence of God. His mercies are new every morning, even if we feel kind of sick. God is always with us, all right? So let's do the song together. Jesus, we live only for you. of God. Amen. That's right. When we are ushered into the presence of God, we always feel better, even if we're a little bit sick, okay? So, hey, Reginald, let's try to blow your nose one last time, okay? And maybe, maybe that wasn't the real nose blow, okay? So, Let's give it one more chance as we say bye to the boys and girls. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Reginald. Reginald. Bye. Bye. Wow. That worship song really touched my heart. Thank you, Mr. Phil. Maybe we can have our own worship session with the baby someday. That's a fantastic idea, Polly. We'll run it by Mr. Phil. But for now, let's bow our heads because it's time to pray. Dear God, thank you so much that Jesus came to be our savior. Help us to all celebrate Jesus in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. I was thinking of making some bread drums. I think the different grains would lead to some interesting and unique tones. What do you think? Somehow, that is one of the more reasonable and realistic ideas you've ever had, Polly. Go for it. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> Bye. Bye.